Good evening, people. Craggy here. Uh, I'm wearing my Urban Species Megatron t-shirt that I got at AA. And I'm going to do a Q&A. Thank you for everyone that asked me a question. I'm going to record now. I've got my Facebook page open with all the things that everyone's asked me. And I'm going to record now answer to each of the questions so first question Ben Watson have you ever gone crag hopping not intentionally uh, Dorian asked me my favorite current wrestler and of all time currently I don't know I think maybe Dean Ambrose or maybe Dolph Ziggler or maybe I have a real soft spot for this guy what is his name? <laughs> Austin Aries, that's him um, I don't know uh, There, there's no one standout for me right now um, although those three, I, I really do quite like. I really like Paige as well. Uh, and Natalia. Like, the, the women's wrestling is something that I've got to appreciate recently. Fairly recently. Uh, since there's been a lot more good women wrestlers showing up. Or getting TV time. Best of all time, I've got to say Bret Hart. There's a lot of other really good wrestlers, but Bret Hart is the one that has always entertained me. Every one of his matches is great to watch. You'll you'll struggle to find a bad Bret Hart match, and he wrestled a lot of very <laughs> terrible people. So, um, yeah, respect. Dave shot and asked, what would be the contents of your perfect picnic basket? Picnic basket, not stolen by bears, um, even if they're wearing ties. Bread, jam, in concert, creating a jam piece. Uh, also, I like a banana sandwich. Uh, and lately I've been liking banana sandwich with some maple syrup on it. Bacon and banana and maple syrup, very nice as well. Uh, maybe a croissant with some cheese and some ham. Some kind of cake like a chocolate eclair to go with uh, for afters. And some kind of liquid to wash it down. I'm going to say apple juice. I do like a bit of apple juice. Brad Rhodes asks, the lotus in Craggy Lotus, is it an insect or automotive appreciation? I'm not in a cars. Um, not that if someone offered me a lotus car, I would say no. Um, but the lotus in Craggy Lotus actually comes from Dark Lotus, uh, which is the super group, I suppose, is the correct term formed by the Insane Clown Posse and Twisted and Blaze Your Dead Homie and other people at various different times. Um, yeah, so it was over 10 years ago, 15 years ago maybe now, I was first signed up for an email address on Hotmail and I thought Craggy because Craig, Craig, everyone has Craig, everyone's called Craig, um, so I thought Craggy, because Craig comes from Crag or Rock, and Craggy, I thought I'll add a little bit onto it, Lotus, the first Dark Lotus CD had just come out, so I thought, fuck it, I'll stick that on. Got Craggy Lotus at Hotmail.com, email me if you like, 
and the rest is history. I've, I've used it on loads of other sites. I'm just I'm Craggy or Craggy Lotus on pretty much any web forum or login that I'm on for anything. Now, uh, Dave Shotton asks, aren't lotuses flowers? They are. Uh, ben Watson asks, or is it a yoga position? Yes, it is. Uh, Brodos, uh, um, so have you ever visited a place that could be considered a NAN headquarters? Nan spell N A N, so I'm going with Granny. So I'm going to say yes. Um, I have. Uh, Brad was insert the above into my question. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Brad Rose, kind of grasshopper too. No, that's a, a locust. I think you're thinking of prey mantis. Dave shot and locust. Yes, yes, locust, not lotus. Uh, what non-TF stuff do you have by Bill Barkley? So, non-transformers toys that I have. Discounting third-party transforming robot toys that are in the vein of transformers. And intellectually property wise based on Transformers I have a lot of G.I. Joe's I got in a G.I. Joe when W. Smith no John Menzies it was at the time John Menzies um, in the town where I am at had a big sale on videos and the Transformers ones that they had I kind of already seen all the time so they had a bunch of G.I. Joe, well, Action Force G.I. Joe tapes. And they were like three quid each or something. And I bought a bunch of those. And really liked the cartoon. Which I hadn't seen before, really. And then went and bought... F I think the first G.I. Joe I bought was a talking Cobra Commander figure. He's got a big giant backpack. Um, it's about up to here on him. Um, and it had a sim chip in it and he went Cobra attack and machine gun noises and so, so on um, and I got more and more from then on the Pam stretcher beside me had a loads of Chinese um, I want to say reissues uh, Chinese more or less probably knockoffs of the early Ada Joes and that helped me get like a load of the, the early Joes the same as they appeared in the cartoon and I picked up a few others along the way um, I got quite into them in the Cobra Joe vs Cobra series when that came out and then the Valor vs Venom and, and carried on and I think I, I kind of by the time I'd started collecting properly as an adult I'd kind of given up on those, um, I just because it was too expensive to keep getting them, especially with the 25th anniversary stuff. I've got some of the 25th anniversary stuff, and a little bit, like a few thereafter, but n I, I kind of try to keep that under control now. I also had loads of uh, Masters of the Universe He-Man stuff when I was little. That all went to my cousin. I had loads of them. I had He-Man, Battle Cat, Skeletor, etc. All the main guys. And I had a load of secondary and tertiary guys. I had the big giant walking mechanical spiders called Spidor, I think. Um, I had the horse. Well, one of the horses. I had a bunch of the horde guys had a couple of vehicles uh, the dragon walker and attack track and things like that they don't make toys like that anymore those were pretty fucking amazing actually I had a lot of ninja turtles I remember the Christmas that ninja turtles were big I had to go to Woolworths with my dad 
because I'd heard that, or he'd heard rather, that they just got the Ninja Turtles in, and he bought pretty much all the Ninja Turtles that were there, one of each of them that was in the shop, uh, and he said, "Oh, these are for your cousin. I need to get these for your cousin for his Christmas." And I was really sad. I was like, "Whoa, whoa! I'm in, I'm not getting them any." Christmas morning came, and I opened up. First one I got was a, a knockoff one that someone had sent me, and it wasn't a proper Ninja Turtle. I was like, oh, well, that's kind of cool. And then I got to some of my other presents, and it was like the real Ninja Turtles, and April, and Splinter, and Shredder, and the Foot Clan guy, and possibly Bebop and Rocksteady. I can't remember if I got them at the same time. And the Turtle Van, and it was just one of the best Christmases ever. I, I got loads of stuff, and it was really good and especially because I'd been so disappointed at not getting them beforehand more recently well no actually going back going back I've got a bunch of Marvel and DC superhero figures in the four or five inch scale like the, the early 90s X-Men and Spider-Man cartoon ones some of the Batman animated cartoon stuff the superpowers, Kenner superpowers, uh, with the flash that you've got a little wind up thing on his back, it goes like that. Um, and the ones where they squeeze their legs together and they punch, that sort of thing. And when the Teen Titans cartoon was out, I picked up, in some form or another, uh, one of each of the main Titans characters in the sort of three inch scale, uh, two or three, two and a half, three inches scale, and Deathstroke and Aqualad with the thing, the vehicle, submarine thing, and I've got a bunch of Star Wars stuff that I'm probably should be getting rid of. I went a bit crazy at episode two, three time, and yeah, loads of loads of stuff. I've also got wrestlers um mostly ranging from sort of very late 90s up until early 2000s maybe about a five year gap where i bought a lot of wrestling toys right uh what else do we have um dave shot did you ever chop up locusts in science at school no i didn't do biology i did chemistry and physics i got a one in my standard grade for physics even though the majority of my time in physics was spent doodling pictures of wrestlers in the situations that the science teacher was telling us. Um, so I've got a notebook somewhere uh, with the likes of Al Snow and Mankind up a mountain um, and travel thinking if jump off this mountain, how fast will we go? And will it be affected by various different factors? Uh, I didn't know I was getting a one in physics, and so I didn't take it in fourth, uh, in fifth year as a higher. Uh, if I knew that, I would have. And then chemistry, I think I got like a two or a three. Uh, I was I was relatively good at chemistry, but physics was the one that I seemed to do well in, which is strange considering how bad I was at maths. Um, right. Brad Rhodes. I was thinking about everything from Novelty Underwear to Sachet Sugar. Good for you. I do have Spider-Man boxer shorts. They're kind of silky and blue and grey pictures of Spider-Man on them. Possibly the Vulture as well. It might be Spider-Man vs. the Vulture or Spider-Man vs. Shocker. I can't remember. Dave Shotton, what kind of music are you into? I like loads of different types of music. Given the earlier question about where Craggy Lotus came from, when I was in my late teens, mid to late teens, I kind of liked um, Limp Bizkit and Korn and Insane Clown Posse and... Insane Clown Posse was my main one. I went to go and see them in Glasgow and then they didn't do the show. 
uh, because apparently it got cancelled by the venue. Um, twisted. I st I mean I still occasionally listen to those guys. Um, I like a lot of like old stuff, like Miles Davis and and like David Bowie and. The animals and the clash and I like I I'm not a big sort of a why I really know a lot about music. I just I like music that I like. Uh, Muse, I like Muse. Foo Fighters, um, like really only music stuff that I listen to now is Postmodern Jukebox on YouTube um, with their oldie timey covers of like newer pop hits. Um I do like some like cheesy generic pop. I like Katy Perry stuff. Um I enjoy the videos. Um same with Girls Aloud. Uh three oh three H three oh three H is that a thing? I think I like them. Um they did like two songs with Katy Perry and um they're kind of rappy-ish. Um, I do like like standard rap stuff, um, rap and hip hop stuff. I've got DMX CDs, Snoop Dogg. Um, I I say I like metal, but I mean I, the Transformers the movie soundtrack is is like the best music that I can think of. Um, but I do like rock and and metal stuff. Um, Led Zeppelin, uh, Jimi Hendrix. I like o like Beach Boys and Elvis. I like a load of old stuff. Um, I like some new stuff, but yeah, not all that much. I I can't think of like the last CD I bought was probably about five, maybe more than five years ago. I'll probably buy the Awesome Mix Volume One. Um, Tarantino soundtracks, Star Wars soundtracks, I like a lot of movie soundtracks, um, but it has to be a movie I like, uh, surprisingly. Um, okay, so m music, yeah. Uh, come on. Oh, the web page has been a pain in the arse. Right, uh, Ben Watson, does the pattern on your wallpaper actually generate a security laser net? There's only one way to find out. I'm not going to tell you that. Dave Shotton, what have you been drinking? This is Smirnoff and Lemonade. I do like vodka, but I prefer Grey Goose. At Auto Assembly, I actually tried Belvedere, uh, which is about the same price as Grey Goose, at least in their bar. Um, very, very nice vodka. Like you, you don't even taste it. Strangely enough, not even tasting it is the opposite of my opinion on whiskey, which I also like. I like a bit of whiskey. Um, a single malt, and I don't drink it with anything. Uh, no ice. On Friday, this this Friday past, I had whiskey. It was Jura Temptation. No, Supernatural. Uh, and I had it in the brew dog. And the man at the bar said, "Oh, are you sure you just want it just plain? You don't want it with some water?" And I was like, "All right. Um, no, I just want it plain." And he was like. I like the water because it brings out the flavour and I was like alright fuck it fine I'll have some water in my whiskey. He puts a whole shot of water in it barely tasted of anything. If you drink whiskey maybe on the rocks is okay maybe but I like my whiskey neat and 
yeah, so like a single mole um Glen's anything sort of Glen something, Glen Fiddick, um Glen Monji, Glen something else. There's another Glen one that all all of those are nice. Um Yeah, bas basically a whiskey or a vodka man. I do not drink beer. Um I've tried beers and lagers and it, it's not for me. Same with ciders and I I'll drink a I'll drink a rum if I must. Um but I I much prefer a, like a good whiskey or a very good vodka. Okay. Um Dave Shotton. Uh, is whiskey and arm brew an actual drink in Scotland? I fell in love with it whilst playing gigs up there for about ten years ago. Been back many times but I'm too scared to order it in pubs. <laughs> I would say myself if you're going to have a whiskey, have a whiskey. Have a, a nice single malt and have that. And if you fancy an iron brew afterwards, because you're pacing yourself, or for some reason if you've drunk the whiskey quicker than the other people that are with you because they're drinking pints and they've still got like a half a pint or a quarter of a pint to go, yeah, get an iron brew. Um, I would say drink whiskies at night uh, and keep the iron brew for the morning for your hangover. Not much of a better cure for a, a hangover than a couple of bottles of iron brew or a, a big bottle of iron brew. I I like the diet iron brew. A lot of people is going to call me like a, a heathen or whatever for saying that, but I like the diet stuff. It doesn't taste it that much different for me. And... It's it's all diet, so it must be healthy. <laughs> um, yeah, I w I wouldn't mix the two, but if if you like them, go for like a not like a blend or like a non whiskey whiskey, like a Jack Daniels or something. Jack and Coke's okay, but I've had some bad experiences. Right, okay. Uh, Bill Barkley, I. I was meaning if you've got any Hot Wheels cars, like the Dark Knight's Tumbler or 007's Bond cars, etc., or on any reason Resident Evil figures. I don't have any Resident Evil figures. I don't have any really any video game related figures that are not like Transformers. I have some War of Fall for Cybertron, but video game figures. I might have one or two. I have I have a couple of Street Fighter mini mates because I've got a load of Marvel mini mates, so I got a couple of Street Fighter ones as well. And I'm still got at one of my friends' houses that I keep meaning to do a review of with him some knockoff Gears of War, like pound shop figures, which I'll probably do and upload a video of. Quite funny. Um, Hot Wheels. I don't know. I don't think so. Not many. I do have a Batmobile somewhere. Um, it's a little model, about yay big, of the 90s Batmobile that he had around the time of Nightfall. In fact, it's the one he falls into in Nightfall and gets taken to the cave before Brain, uh, Bane breaks his back. Um, it looks a little bit like Hot Rod from Transformers. That is the best Batmobile for me. I do like the animated series Batmobile, but mm, that's not quite as nice a car. The the the, the mid nineties ones the the best Batmobile in my opinion. Bill Arkley, save brother in a Hulk Hogan way on video. Stuart Blythe. What is your opinion on Adrian Neville? I like Adrian Neville. I hope he gets a call up to the main roster soon, but not too soon that they don't know what to do with him. Um, he seems like a very good talent. I like that he's... Like, he seems very genuine. Uh, his interviews, he seems... fairly legitimate. Um, in as much as... 
he was fairly self def uh self depreciating, not self defecating. Um that is a bad thing to do in a wrestling ring. Uh he was self depreciating. Um he called himself something like a troll looking guy. He's he's not conventionally attractive. But from what I've seen of him, he's really good. Uh, I think next is probably next NXT is probably the best wrestling show um, that is out there right now on like mainstream internet accessibility. And yeah, there's a few matches of his I've seen that have really amazed me. I'm all for Adrian Neville and Wade Barrett and Paige and. There is a Scottish guy somewhere. I, I mean, I don't, I haven't seen him do anything. I'm not a fan of Seamus. He's, he seems like a decent enough bloke, but he's not a great wrestler and he's not a great talker and etc. etc. He's not, he's not a superstar. Um, Bill Barclay, which WWE star would you like to see appear on Doctor Who? Never had Dwayne Johnson appear on episodes of Star Trek Voyager and Big Show on Enterprise. What WWE star would I like to see on Star on Doctor Who? Sorry. Well, I, I mean, one of the the English ones would work fine. Um, Page or Regal um, would play a good alien. Vicky Guerrero. Um, Stephanie McMahon as some evil alien woman because she pulls off evil and evil and super evil quite well. Um, or like Moolah and Mae Young, just because why the hell not? Have you ever used FunkyPigeon.com from Paul Gowland? I don't think so. Funky Pigeon? Is that like Moonpig? But like not from the moon and not pigeons, uh, not pigs, pigeons, or it's mu like music pi magpie and you send your old shit off, and they give you like five pence for it. No, I regardless of what it is, I haven't used it. Bill Barclay, did you watch the latest Doctor Who? And if so, what do you think of it? It's a two-part question. Um, well, that that in itself is a two-part question, but there is also a, another bit after that. Um, <laughs> yes, I did watch the latest Doctor Who, not when it was aired. I forgot about it because I was watching Gundam Unicorn. Uh, but once I remembered it was on, I stuck it on the iPlayer, and I thought it was okay. It was always nice. It's always nice to see um, Lizard Girl and Jenny. Madame Vastra and Jenny and Strax. I want to say Straxus, but Strax. Um, it's always good to see those kids. Uh, I hope they get their own show at some point, even if it's just like a two-part or special or something. Um, there was good bits and there was like bad bits and there was fucking atrociously pandering to the crowd bits. Like the Matt Smith phone up and the the constant hand holding of the viewers of via Clara about Oh don't worry, I know Matt Smith's gone. I, right. Matt Smith was my doctor. I watched a bit of David Tennant now and again, but I watched the Matt Smith one, uh, when he debuted, eleventh hour. I watched it, I thought, fucking right, that's my doctor, that's Doctor Who. I'm watching it. I watched everyone from then on out. And I was sad to see him go. But he went out okay. Capaldi's good. I didn't need to see 
a scene with the old doctor saying, oh, Don't worry, I'll be back. Oh, I love you. Fuck off. <laughs> really, that was, that stunk of, oh, this show got big in America, and we better, better make the, the kids that are watching it in America feel okay. Sorry. Doctor Who, the character changes. It's like James Bond, but with an actual explanation. Get over it. There's a new Doctor, Capaldi. If you've seen him in anything else, you'll know he's pretty amazing. He's going to do a good job. Don't force it down our throats. Let him get on with it. Don't waste time. Get on with it. Don't pander and commiserate the passing of another actor. Because at the end of the day, he's still the Doctor. I don't think Capaldi's going to be a bad Doctor, considering it would be the, the same as... Someone that had grown up writing fan letters to Spider-Man becoming Spider-Man. Um, I'm fully on board for him, and I just felt like certain aspects of this this latest episode were just a little bit too a bit a bit too meta. I don't think that Clara should have been acting the same way as she was for a regeneration she's seen that he's different people that he looks different and she shouldn't have been so freaked out by it the fact that she was and that it needed that fucking phone call felt very much like um, they were saying to people that were fans that just come on board oh don't worry it's still Doctor Who I didn't like that And last question, Luke Hollywood, uh, if you had to live the rest of your life with only one flavour of digestive biscuits, digestive biscuits, uh, what flavour would you choose? That's like not even a difficult question. What flavour of digestive biscuits? Caramel, milk chocolate, digestive biscuits. Easy. The dark chocolate digestive biscuits are not bad. But I think the milk chocolate ones are a little bit better. Now, there was another bit here. I was sure that after Bill Barkley asked me to say brother in a Hulk Hogan way he asked me to say anything loads of different catchphrases but it doesn't have that on the page that I'm accessing but fuck it I'll do it anyway right what you gonna do brother when Hulk Hogan runs wild on you Oh yeah, the macho man. Um, and that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. Woo! I remember being on a bus with people, and we'd all just met up for the first time because we met on the internet, and we were driving from the centre of Glasgow out to some place. And we all just started doing Ric Flair woos. And there was like three or four old ladies on the bus as well. They were like, who are all these weird people that have just come on the bus? And why did they keep going woo? It was hilarious. We had to be there. If you smell... La 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 la, what the rock is cooking. I can't do the eyebrow that well. Um. It's time! It's time! It's Vader time! The Vader's a Vulcan. 
backwards. No. Um, there is. Say hello to the bad guy, Rezo Ramon. I don't have a toothpick, so it doesn't work. Um, there's there's loads of other wrestling catchphrases and stuff, but that would be my wrestling catchphrase. A bit of a a bit of a shrug of the shoulders and like meh. Um, you you can see me on YouTube. Uh, because I am recording a video on YouTube. Can anyone explain to me why John Cena goes, you can't see me, when he's in the middle of a ring, surrounded by thousands of people, and broadcast to hundreds of thousands more people. Like, people can see him. Anyway. Thanks for all the questions, everyone. I'll see you again later. Good night.